Hey guys, welcome back to Investing in Stocks for the Long Term. Today I want to talk a little bit about Haverty Furniture. I think we have seen how all the stay-at-home type stocks have done really well. For example, you look at at home on their earnings. It was I think it was expected to earn nothing, earned 50 cents. You look at stuff like Restoration Hardware has more than doubled. Think about even something like Ethan Allen, which is another furniture and home goods stock, had a nice little pop on earnings. So I was thinking, you know, ideally you're going to want to be in the game stocks that are just, you don't have to worry about people coming in the stores and it's just going to be pure profit. But looking ahead, Haverty Furniture has earnings after the close on Monday. So I think a small position might make sense considering the fact that they have pretty good fundamentals. Um, they were, they actually ended up earning money in the first quarter, even when the stores were closed. And um, I think with the stores reopening, I think you 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 see some pent up demand. Um, the the CEO talked about how. Uh, when the stores reopened on May 1st, the same store sales were actually up 17.5%. Um, and then uh, deliveries were down. I guess that was due to reduced personnel. So it seems like they may have had some issues with, with deliveries. So the total, and this is an update. This is not first quarter. This is through July 8th. The total sales were 110 million compared with 191 million for second quarter of 2019. Now the analysts, um, the analysts are expecting $110 million as well. Um, so and they're also expecting a quarterly loss of 50 cents. Now here's the thing I'm gonna clue on. They're saying quarterly loss of 50 cents. They've been revising those estimates up over the last 30 days. I find it hard to believe that they're going to be in that quite in that situation because the first quarter, they still, like I said, earned nine cents a share, even with being closed for, for those several weeks. Now, internet sales are only 6% triple of last year. They do have the free pickup and they have some free deliveries when they're trying to be promotional and things like that. Um, they, they own about 140 stores. About a third of them are owned by them. Their balance sheet doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, let's see. And they they suspended the, the, the stock buyback program. They lay, they furloughed 3,000 people, and then they reduced the, for, the workforce by 1,200 people. Um, and so I think it's probably worth a trade. I think you can probably – it's a low float stock. It's very underfollowed. It only has 80 followers on stock. So I think you could probably get this thing up to um, you know, 17, 18. I know my, my channel is – supposedly about investing for the long term. And I am going to make some more long term videos, but these little short term runs with the stay at home stocks have been profitable. So I think a small position ahead of earnings probably makes sense. Now, if you're curious to what type of furniture they have, that's not really the main point, but they have sort of these gray beige type things that are, that are popular these days. So I think Haverty Furniture, furniture going into earnings makes a certain amount of sense. And so um, let me know down below what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one.